Shadow and I are heading out to the desert where the Joshua trees are to a remote dark spot to uh, attempt to capture the iconic Horsehead Nebula and the Flame Nebula as well as the uh, Orion Nebula, the Great Orion Nebula, and the Running Man Nebula. And I want to capture them all in one frame. So uh, I'm taking the Orion quadruplet 70 millimeter, big wide field of view. But uh, fitting them all in one frame is just one of the challenges. The uh, other challenge is that the Horsehead Nebula is a dark nebula, and the Great Orion Nebula has a brilliant bright core to it. So getting the settings that will accommodate them both, I think that's going to be the hard part. But we're going to give it a try. And look at the skies. Oh, wow. I mean, they are beautiful. There's not a cloud in them. So we have about a 45-minute drive. And uh, we're going to go through the Shivwitz Indian Reservation and on into the Beaver Dam National Conservation Area and then along some dirt roads to a, a camping site that we're going to we're not going to camp overnight, but we're going to set up there. So we'll see you there. Wish us luck. Well, we've made it out to the Mojave Desert. We're going to set up on one side of the truck, and on the other side, we're going to build a little fire right to right by this little Joshua tree right here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I think you can see the beautiful sunset. Ah, oh, it's just gorgeous. And the skies are so clear. And that is where we're gonna be photographing the uh, Orion constellation. But for now, we're gonna set up and I gotta get Shadow's uh, coyote vest on him. Shadow, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Gotta get your gear on you. Hop up here. Hop up here. Go on. No, no, no. Up you go. What I use for tracking shadow. Well, that went like a breeze. We set up polar aligned, star aligned, and I can't emphasize enough the importance of a good polar alignment. If you get that polar alignment right, everything else is a breeze. Uh, star alignment was easy peasy, and uh, we are now on our object. And so uh, the guiding is working, everything's working. I'm gonna pause it and just show you the rig so you know what I'm shooting with tonight. Okay, we are shooting with the Orion 70 millimeter quadruplet, the Orion G24 full frame 35 millimeter dedicated astronomy camera, guiding, and it's all hooked up to the computer. Right. But you can see the Orion Nebula on the right, the Running Man Nebula, the Orion Nebula, the Running Man Nebula, the Horsehead Nebula, and the Flame Nebula coming along just beautifully. We only have three minutes worth of exposure time here, so we're just gonna sit back, let it do its thing. We're gonna go sit by the fire, warm up, and uh, maybe tell ghost stories. I'm gonna show you a little trick <laughs> that I figured out. So, I got our little fire going right here, and here's my chair. And this chair has a little sun shade, but it's also got a reflective surface on it. And I've learned that if I put a blanket, if I just lay a blanket over the back, then the heat from the fire kind of comes up and it captures in here and it creates a little warm area for me. So <laughs> that's what I do. And it gets cold fast out here in the desert, so I gotta stay warm. I think I'm gonna also uh, pull out a little stove and 
make myself a little hot cup of chocolate. Um, so we're just gonna sit by the fire here for a bit. Uh, chocolate's almost done. Give it a few more minutes. Well, the wind picked up just a little bit and along with it, the fire, which actually is appreciated because I'm freezing. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's keeping me warm. I'm not actually freezing as long as I'm by it. I only freeze when I leave it. And I'm gonna leave it right now and we're gonna go over and check out how the rig is doing. So the, the Orion Nebula is the closest star forming region to Earth, 1,500 light years from Earth. It is massive. It is uh, approximately 30 light years across in diameter. This here is the Orion Nebula, and over here to the left is the Running Man Nebula. Now, within the center of the Orion Nebula, which is really bright and white, uh, it's called the trapezium. Uh, the trapezium because of four stars that kind of form the, uh, the boundaries. But there's an estimated 2,000 new stars inside there. Now over here is the Horsehead Nebula. And let's zoom in on it just a bit. There we go. So the Horsehead Nebula, what that is, is that is a very thick dense patch of space dust and gases and it's lit up from behind but it's so thick the starlight cannot shine through it and so the silhouette is what is lit up and that's what we're seeing there and that is known here on the left is the flame nebula and on that let's scoot over and see what the uh, Orion Nebula looks like zoomed in to give you a little there we go give you a little bit of a better view the Orion Nebula, by the way, is visible to the naked eye. If you know where to look, it's uh, just adjacent to Orion's belt, just a bit south of the belt. Um, even the Mayans observed it and had uh, folklore legends about it. They didn't have telescopes. It's just beautiful. Oh my, look at all those gases and the, oh, it's just incredible. Now, okay, we are, uh, at 405 stacked frames, only seven frames have been ignored. That's how good the scene conditions are. 71 minutes worth of, uh, of data. Yeah, look how great that is. So things are really going well. We're just gonna let it keep doing its thing. There's no reason to mess with it. Go back to the fire, stay warm. I got another cup of hot chocolate going. All right. Well, I wanted to get two hours on it, and we're at night. It's only 9.32 at night, because it's winter, it gets dark earlier. So, whew, I get cold just going over there. Now we get warm coming over here. Um, 9.32 at night, and I've got 70 plus minutes. So, um, another 50 minutes, and I think uh, two hours will be good. And we'll go home, I'll be home before too late because I do have a heavy day of work tomorrow ahead of me. Okay, we've made our way back to the uh, rig. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. We're gonna shut everything down, drive home, and we will process this beautiful image tomorrow. All right, good night.